Winter bird watching. There are birds to see in all seasons here in Northwestern Pennsylvania. Hi, this is Jessica from Asbury Woods and I am back with another virtual visit. As the weather gets colder and we all start to retreat inside to the warmth and safety of our homes, we can take a connection of nature with us. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to continue bird watching. Now here in our area in the winter, there are lots of birds to see. A sure sign of winter here at Asbury Woods is the stunning view outside the front window of a bright red northern cardinal flitting through the branches to find a meal at one of our many bird feeders. With the winter months fast approaching, it's time for us to say goodbye to the many migratory bird species like that red-winged blackbird that call northwestern Pennsylvania their temporary home. Birds like the ruby-throated hummingbird, barn swallows and tree swallows, warblers, robins, this green heron, loons, orioles, and many other birds are forced to follow the temperate weather and their food sources south until the spring thaw returns. The birds that remain here throughout the year, even through our coldest season, are the birds that have adapted to the changing weather in our local environment. These birds are hardy, tolerant of the cold, and are able to find seeds and dormant insects to eat in spite of the cold and snow. Topping Pennsylvania's list of cold hardy resident birds are juncos, chickadees, nuthatches, titmice, finches, song sparrows, blue jays, northern cardinals, a few woodpeckers, and the ever-present crow, house sparrows, and starlings. Several other species of bird only visit our area during the winter months. These birds breed in the far reaches of northern Canada, Alaska, and the Arctic Islands, and they find their warmer region here in our area of Pennsylvania. These include the snowy owl, northern shrike, tundra swan, and snow goose, to name a few. If winter birding sounds like a fun activity for you and your family, there are two citizen science opportunities for bird watchers this winter. In late December and early January, the National Audubon Society hosts their Christmas Bird Count. This is a controlled census of certain designated areas outlined on maps, similar to the plot study that we did in one of our earlier virtual visits about micro hikes. These specified areas are inventoried by organized groups. So to participate in this one, you have to join a group. For more information on how to join a group for the Christmas Bird Count, visit www.autobahn.org or contact your local Audubon Society. A great citizen science opportunity for beginning and advanced birders alike is the Great Backyard Bird Count. This is organized by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology and is held in mid-February. Now the Great Backyard Bird Count is one of my very favorite citizen science projects all year because I can do it from the warmth of my home, I can do it out on the trail, or I can do it from my favorite bird watching spot anywhere around. I can do it by myself, I can do it with family, I can do it with friends. It's a great way for anyone to get into the fun of bird watching. To learn more about the Great Backyard Bird Count, visit www.gbbc.birdcount.org or visit the Cornell Lab of Ornithology's website to learn more. This is a great one for anyone to participate in. Now, where you live will play a big role in the types of birds you'll see at your feeder this winter. If you live in a relatively undeveloped area, you'll see a wider variety of species that visit your feeder, but even city dwellers can have a lot of fun this winter attracting birds to backyard feeders. Now, when you're setting up your feeder, it helps to think of your backyard as a habitat. As the kindergarten through second graders who visit us here at Asbury Woods, both in person and virtually can tell you, a habitat needs four parts, food, water, shelter, and space. If you're new to feeding birds in your yard, doing some research about the food, water, shelter, and space needs of the birds that visit your area before making your seed and feeder purchase can help ensure that you get the best results for your investment of time and money. 
Now, if you don't have the space in your yard for a bird feeder, or if you don't have a yard at all, you're always welcome to come here to Asbury Woods to enjoy the birds out on our trails or in front of our nature center at our many bird feeders. To view more of our virtual visits or to learn more about our outdoor recreation opportunities, our environmental education program, ways to connect with nature, and our in-person and virtual programming and events, please visit our website at asburywoods.org. Stay warm, stay safe, and I hope to see you here at Asbury Woods soon. Thanks for listening.